Kentucky Derby 117 in 1991, strike the gold, accomplished what his daddy couldn't do. That was 1978, uh, Kentucky Derby and Triple Crown runner-up Alidar. Uh, they had sent me this colt. So I was in awe of the horse. It was by Alidar, and I was a big fan of Alidar. But he never really was a workhorse. And then one day in Saratoga, you know, an 18-year-old kid worked him for me called Johnny Velasquez. Johnny Velasquez. He come flying. This was a derby horse. I said, oh, oh man, I don't want to lose this one. And Zito was telling me, hey, I love this horse. I love this horse. He, he's going to win. He's going to win. And I could not get off Hansel. I mean, he was the horse to beat. He went off as the favorite under Jerry Bailey. Fly so free was the second choice, and then strike the goal was the third choice under. He was about five to one. Keeps improving. He's answered the major questions. He's beaten Fly so free, and uh, it's an interesting horse because many of the jockeys and trainers fear that one. Strike the goal. You know the funny thing is, uh, I couldn't keep a jockey on him. If you look, he had like the greatest jockeys in the world, right? I couldn't keep one on. Mike Smith, Jerry, that day. Then I had Craig, and then I go to the Bluegrass. I don't have any of them. Chris Antley who I was fond of, exceptional talent. I knew I was, I was in pretty good shape. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. And Lost Mountain was squeezed a bit at the start. On the extreme outside, Best Pal shows early speed. There's a lot of speed um, all around me, and I just wanted to make sure he got to the first turn without dropping too far out of it. From there, I let him settle after we went around the first turn. Down the backside, strike the gold was 12th of 16. Uh, so the race was setting up for him. Strike the gold is 12th. Quintana on the outside is 13th. Angel's talking to me the whole way down to the backside. And he said, how much horse you got, Poppy? And I said, well, I'm sitting pretty good right now. Angel Cordero, the great Angel Cordero, was on a horse for Wayne Lucas. Chris beat him to the hole. Angel checks, not Chris. Now, if you don't do that, you shut off. And then down the backside, you're kind of creeping up, creeping up. I saw a couple horses standing in front of me, and the front horses were riding, so I went ahead and and went straight to the outside. I wanted to be there at the quarter pole. And strike the gold begins to roll on the outside. They're tightly packed as they move to the top of the stretch. That, that's amazing. When he made that turn coming for home, we knew we had a shot. And... Down the stretch they come. Strike the gold on the outside with Chris Antley taking command. Rooting and screaming and yelling and shit. Because I had heard a song on the radio, was Show Me The Way, so I kept saying, Show Me The Way, Show Me The Way. <laughs> Chris Antley rode, he really rode a perfect race. Nick Zito won his first derby, and I immediately think of him when he points to the sky. Nobody is more grateful uh, for winning the Kentucky Derby. When it happens, you can't believe it. When it happens. This is kind of very spiritual. I mean, look, that's me. But it was very spiritual.